What's up guys, it's C3B and I'm going to show you how to record a vocal track on top of a karaoke track. Um, it's very simple to do. You will need to download a free recording software if you don't already have any recording software. I'm sorry, I know you probably clicked on this video hoping to find out some magical way to do it without downloading anything, but yes, you do need some recording software. Thankfully, Audacity, again, it's free, it's well-renowned, it's a great product, you're not going to get any viruses or whatever if you download it, um, everyone knows about this software. Um, go to web.audacityteam.org, I've also got a link in the description, um, and download their latest version, which right now is uh, version 2.1. So, I've got this karaoke track right here, and there's no singing on it, and I want to put my vocals on it. So let's hear this track real quick. So it's an MP3 and I want to add vocals to it. So I can simply open Audacity and click and drag my MP3 over to Audacity. And voila, here's the track. Um, you can press this green play button to play it. And you can also press this record button to immediately just start recording your vocal track um, on top of this karaoke track. And it's nice because it's not going to mesh your vocal track into, it doesn't like make it all one recording, your vocal track and your karaoke track. Um, Cause if you like mess up or something and you wanna re-record it, you can easily just delete your vocal track and start over and it doesn't change this karaoke track. So it won't ruin it or anything. Um, so make sure that you've got your microphone selected. You can go up here to this icon here where it shows a microphone. Um, click on uh, you know the microphone that you have plugged into your computer. Um, or you can also select if your computer or laptop has a microphone on it, like a little tiny microphone attached to it or whatever. Um, just make sure it's enabled on your computer. Um, like go to your recording devices and enable that microphone and then it will be able to be selected here. So select your microphone and just press record and it will play the song in the background while you're recording so that you know what to sing on. Um, so let's do that right now. I'll just sing a couple of lines of the song into my microphone here. Cliche phrases to be heard have come and gone like autumn birds. The golden rule and all her friends. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Um, so let's listen to it now. I'm going to press play. I'll just, if you click on this timeline here, it just starts playing it from that spot where you click, so I will do that. Okay, so you notice that it's not very loud, so I need to turn down the volume of my karaoke track, which is this meter here. This meter applies to um, this stereo track, so I can turn it down and then maybe turn up my vocal track a little bit. Phrases to be heard have come and gone like autumn birds. So you just want to find a good balance between the two tracks to make sure your vocals maybe aren't too loud, but I guess if it's a karaoke track and you want the vocals to be a lot louder, then fine, you know, you can adjust it that way. Now some computers or laptops when they record, it actually makes the recording a little bit delayed behind um, where it's supposed to be, maybe like 0.3 seconds or something, um, and it can get kind of annoying. So you can actually click on this uh, tool here where it's two arrows facing each direction, and then you can click and drag your track left and right and line it up with where it's supposed to be. So usually it will just be a little bit too far to the right, so you can click and drag it and shift it just a little bit to the left to make it uh, be where it's supposed to be. Now if you recorded the whole song and you only messed up in a couple of parts, you don't have to redo the entire recording. Um, if you want, you can actually just select the part where you messed up and then go to your effects and click amplify and then click and drag this button all the way to the left. So what it's doing is turning down the volume of that part that you've selected. It turns the volume all the way down um, so that it looks like this. And then you can then go to tracks and then add new and it adds a whole new track underneath the one that you just recorded. And then you can actually click anywhere on that track as a starting point and then press record and it will start recording 
at that point where you selected and it won't overwrite your old recording it will just let you come in at that one part you messed up and re-sing that part so you can get it right and finally to entirely just delete a track as I mentioned before you can go and click on this X um, on the top left corner of the track um, and it will just completely delete that track and you can start over. Um, so very simple. Now to, to turn this into an mp3 and actually export it as an mp3 so it's its own new thing, go ahead and go to File and Export Audio and you can export it as an mp3 or a WAV file, but you can choose the file type and save it um, and have a brand new track. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about what you can actually do to your vocal track to make it sound better once you've recorded it, go ahead and watch this video um, where I explain a couple of things of how to use some effects in Audacity to make your voice sound better. And you can watch this video here where I explain how to remove any background noise that might be in your recordings also in Audacity. And that's it.